remember to like and subscribe. All right, welcome. Today I'm going to go over how my PowerShell script works for interacting with the Zscaler API. You can find it on GitHub. And here is a quick video. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so here I am. I have it called ZIA menu.ps1, just a quick PowerShell script, right? So it'll load, it checks to see if there's an existing session. And if there's not, it kind of gives you an interface to interact with the PowerShell module that was already written. So taking a look at this, we see that we can create a new API session or list out the commands. As I'm getting familiar, first thing I like to do is list out any commands. So you can see that uh, list that output there and drops you back into that menu. So if we try to create a session, which I won't actually authenticate, but I'll show you what that looks like. You type in your cloud without the top level domain. So for me, that's Zscaler. Hit enter, I put no.net API key. This could be generated in the GUI interface uh, in the administrative uh, portal. You can go ahead and generate this API key and hit enter my username. I'll do admin at 123.zscaler.net. Enter, and then a password, right? So let's say I pop in some password. Now this is not gonna actually authenticate. So instead it's just should give out an error message. So if I hit enter, it'll do that. Something went wrong with your session. So check your credentials and try again. Uh, that's basically it. If you do end up uh, authenticating, then you'll be able to run any of these other commands that you see uh, up here, uh, such as, you know, get Zscaler group, and then you can use that output to, you know, do what you need to do from an administrative perspective. I hope you find it useful. I hope you find the tool useful. Any recommendations you have, uh, please feel free to let me know. All right, that's it. Thanks. Bye.